Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back to our Maple Story mini series with Ho Young. I think this is episode 32. And we're back. We're finally back. We actually have a special baby box that we can use for our 2x coupons and stuff. We have 30 of them that we can use, which is um, ridiculous. Um, so yeah. Uh, things kind of got reset. Why did this go all the way up there? This should go here. So, without further ado, let's start training. So today, I kind of want to get to 190, if that's possible. I think it should be possible. Uh, I've got quite a lot of time on my hands now. Pretty, pretty obvious why. Oh, Frito Portal. You know what? We'll do some Frito Portals. <laughs> this one's pretty easy. Watch me get it. Watch me- Ah. Oh. I actually have done- uh, I got to- got the- I got to the highest uh, level. So it's, it, it is possible. It's very slight chance. Very low percent chance, but it's doable. So, I I actually have to go out. <laughs> I have plans. I have plans to go outside, which is absurd uh, in times like these. But I, I I mean I just have to go to the grocery store. <laughs> it's nothing major. It's just the grocery store. Uh, I'll wear a mask and everything. I feel like because of the virus. I have more time <laughs> to do whatever I want. At the at the same time, like I'm not I'm too lazy to do it. I'm procrastinating, as always. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, so we're gonna use that. Oh yeah, we have to have skill points. I'm actually surprised we have 50% burning. It seems like nobody's playing Maple Story. <laughs> so the the new event is here, the Isekai Isek is whatever it's called. Isekai Quartet. That's here, but it's basically useless because the totems you get, they expire. Well, at least the ones that you get from the box, they expire. So there's really no point doing it. Um, I don't know if the ones that you get at the end of the event, like the, the attendance check, I don't know if those are permanent, but they're still not as good as dark totems. I want permanent ones, you know? Permanent stuff. Because after I get this to 200, I'm not playing it. Well, I don't think I'll be playing it. I'll just, like, show off the skills. And then that'll be it. Hundred comp kills. That's so easy. Where is my mouse? <laughs> oh, my user inventory is full. Great. Gotta love that spell trace. Okay, so EXP is actually not that bad. Uh, I think we started at around 40%, I wanna say. But, yeah. Doing good. We're doing good. Okay. 
if we can get some more Apollo portals, I'll definitely speed things up. I also, I also should be using these. How could I not? Okay, so recently, or lately, I've actually started playing two games. I'm pretty sure everyone knows which games these are, the moment I tell you the title. Um, I kind of gave in. I kind of gave in to these two games. Uh, I haven't been playing these games for a very long time. I'm not sure if you guys want to see this type of content because there are it, YouTube is just so saturated with this content. But the first game that I started playing again is League of Legends. Now, now, hear me out. Hear me out. It's not NA server, it's not EU server, it's the Korean server. <laughs> now what that means is people are extremely, extremely good. I played my first game after the tutorial, level 1, fresh account, play after the first 5v5 game on Summoner's Rift. You, you, yeah. words cannot explain how bad that game was. <laughs> like, we had a misfortune. New to the game, which I don't blame, but she kept disconnecting and connecting from the game. I don't know why. Korean internet is good. Uh, I don't know like what happened. Could be like, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm just gonna ignore that. We had a Sona, which somehow tried to carry the game. I couldn't carry the game. I was playing, um, I think I was playing LeBlanc. Yeah, I was playing LeBlanc. So like, obviously LeBlanc is a single target destroyer, assassin, AP assassin. And they have five people on their team. They have a Zed on their team. They have Lee Sin on their team. They have actual ADC, uh, like a good ADC. I think it was Ez. So we were getting snowballed the entire game until I shut down the Zed and I got a triple kill from that. That's when I started popping off, giving my team a chance to come back. However, people are just too heavy. I'm, I'm not, not good as, not a Korean good level. So I've been playing, I've been playing a little bit of League of Legends. And then after after a couple of games, I defaulted back to playing ARAM, which is what I'm comfortable with, even on the NA servers, because it's just a lot faster paced. You don't spend too much um, time, and you don't invest too much time to lose. Like it's it's a chill it's a chill five v five game. That's why I enjoy ARAM. It's it's not too much of a commitment too. Like, you know, you can get some sick plays, but you know, it's whatever. You don't have to worry about CS. That's the main thing that I suck at. <laughs> uh, so that's that. That's the first game that I started playing again. Korean League of Legends. Okay. Now I could play other Korean games such as like Overwatch. Um, you know, Korean dominated games. Make like Maple Story, Korean Maple Story. I have been thinking of playing Korean Maple Story, but I am just way too lazy. <laughs> and I don't know if I can commit to starting a new fresh new account with nothing. Which is why I still play uh, on the GMS servers. So that's the that was that was the first main game that I started playing again. The second main game this is a American game, to say the least. But I mean, I mean, League of Legends is an American game. It started in NA, and it transferred, and it got brought over to uh, Korea. So, second one is another American game. 
This one is a first person shooter and it's Call of Duty Warzone. Now, this game, I haven't played a Call of Duty since like 2000, I want to say like 2012, 2000, <laughs> so like in that era, because that's when I actually had my PS3 in that, and I was actually playing Black Ops 2 and some of the previous titles before that. Black Ops 2 was really good. Okay, I have to say, Black Ops 2 was really good. Modern Warfare 2 and 3 were really good. I enjoyed playing uh, those games. But that was such a long time ago, right? There's a new COD every single year, and I haven't been keeping up. Mostly because I don't have a PS4, and I just didn't want to spend like $60, $70 on a, on a first person shooter game that's just going to come out next year. Right? I wanted something that was going to last. Something that's, you know, that can withstand the decade or withstand the, withstand the, the, the time. So, because Warzone is free to play, and it, I've never really played a battle royale genre, I might as well give it a try. Turns out I'm not too bad at it. I, I hope. I understand the concept. And they actually have a new mode, a new battle royale mode kind of thing going on. And it's called Plunder. Now Plunder, just a quick like heads up on like what it is, is essentially you collect one mil as fast as you can in your party of three. And the first person who does that wins. Then there's multiple ways of collecting one mil cash. Uh, you can kill other t uh, players, you can loot uh, the, the crates. You can do contracts, stuff like that, and then you gotta like secure your cash. If you die, you lose cash. Uh, if you if you call in these like cash balloons, you can you can secure your cash. So you, if you die, you know you don't you don't, you don't drop money. There's that too. Um, so I've been playing that, and it's it's interesting to say the least. I mean. I wasn't expecting me to play an, a Call of Duty game uh, ever so, you know, like, after Black Ops 2, like, I played so much zombies, right? Black Ops 2 was so good, multiplayer was really good, uh, the campaign was really good, and then I just invested a lot of time into zombies. Now, I know that there's, because this is not a, um, it's an Activision game, it's not a, whatchamacallit, what? I can't remember the, the studio's name. Anyway, the, the <laughs> yeah, like so. There's no zombies in this game, so obviously I'm not gonna buy it. There is advanced um, spec ops or something like that, or which is kind of like survival, um, but against like juggernauts and stuff like that. I remember that from Modern Warfare Three, and I wasn't really a big fan of that. So gotta be zombies. Zombies are, are the best. Okay, so we're coming up on 187. It's pretty nice. And we are only 14 minutes into this video. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Feeling like we can hit our, our goal today. Maybe a little bit exceed maybe exceed our goal just a little bit more. Especially that Polo Portal. That brought me up so fast. We're about to need to use another 2x coupon. So yeah, at this point we can't use Legion stuff anymore. It's useless. Well not useless, but it doesn't do us any any benefit. It's all about time now. If you have the time, you can do that. You can get to 200. Just jump around, spam that one skill, and collect your combo orbs. <laughs> Go into your Apollo portals, make sure your 2x coupon is up. Uh, make sure your burning is up if you have access to fire starter ring. If you have frenzy or Kana friends, make sure you know they're doing their job properly. And yeah, and it's just perseverance. Just, just, just keep.
keep doing it. Because at this point, uh, you should have enough damage. If you have full CRA set, uh, if you actually have geared it up, like, like everything, at least epic, okay? Epic pot scrolls aren't hard to come by, you can get them from Legion. So it shouldn't be too hard to get everything to epic, 3-line everything. You don't even need bonus potential, uh, because it's, it's a lot harder to, to actually get to epic. But, yeah, everything epic, everything to main stat, uh, percent, tag, percent, stuff like that. Uh, and then if you have the luxury of getting tyrants, get tyrants. Um, I had the I had the luxury of getting an Absolab weapon from the I think it was like a Maple Relay event, so that's good. Make sure you use your runes; it's always important. Um, what else? Link skills. Link skills are important. Because Mercedes link skill, Arian link skill, Evan link skill, those are essentials uh, for just training in general. Um, what else? If you're a new player and you don't have Legion, I would recommend getting your characters to like 150. And then stop, and then ch get, get to a next character, get to 150, stop. Go to the next character, rinse and repeat until you have like majority, like, all I guess. Yeah, I guess do it until all 40 of your slots are filled with level 150 characters, or at least level 100. Okay, that would at least give you 4,000 Legion. Right? 40 level 100 characters, that'll give you at least 4,000 Legion. And that's That's actually really good already. And then obviously, 40 level 200 characters gets you to 8k, which is what I'm doing. And we're almost there, we're, I think we're at like 7.6k? Let's see. Yeah, 7.6k. So we're around like 330 levels away. Which isn't too too bad. 50 characters, uh, I have a couple characters that are just the, a little bit shy from 200. So that'll get me like another like, maybe like 50, 50-ish levels. And then I really gotta get like three-ish, three or four more characters uh, to from level one sixty-ish to one to, to two hundred, obviously. Um, yeah, I think we're doing good. I think I might just bulk record uh, the the other characters that are just a little bit shy from two hundred. Put them all in one episode. And obviously do like time lapse because let's be honest. Past episode was here was me here sitting around doing a uh, wh whacking away at these guys. Next episode is probably going to be me whacking at these guys, and then a little bit of uh, two hundred. That's what I'm I'm guessing. <sighs> that is the life. But it's okay. We'll get there. So the Rune of Destruction actually gave me a, like, a big range. Big range increase. We're actually at 1 mil range. Ooh. Of course. Kill the bird. Can't see. Now I can see. <laughs> huh. I can't jump now. Oh, there's a flame.
So I would say for Legion, focus on characters that actually give like a good, like they actually have a good Legion effect. Uh, that's important because you don't want to do like cleric. <laughs> Kind of, kind of, like, or, or at least pick classes that are gonna be really good at mobbing, so you can train faster. Yeah, just avoid like Jet. <laughs> Although Jet does give a really good Legion card. Or wait till like Terra Burning comes back, or uh, burn the regular Mega Burning event. You get to 150 really fast. Usually what I do. So I'm waiting for Adele to come out. I don't know when it's gonna come out. But we know we know Adele is coming out. So that's good. So we're approaching 188, 90, almost 90%. It's really fast. 20, 20-ish minutes, we already gained almost three levels. Could be faster, obviously, if we had all of the proper uh, multipliers and stuff. But this is still already really fast. Because once we hit 190, it's only 10 levels to go. Yeah, essentially we just need more Apollo portals. We need more Bounty Hunter portals. I don't think Infernal Wolf gives that much. I know it gives uh, experience based on how much damage you deal to the Infernal Wolf, but I don't think I'm going to do enough damage to actually reap enough experience from it to say it's a good place to go. It's definitely good if you if you're funded and you aren't as high level. So like if you if you do a massive amount of, amount of damage while you're like lower level, then you're going to gain a lot of experience. You're going to gain like millions of experience. But for me right now, I don't think I'm going to be able to reap enough damage or do enough damage to to get a good amount of experience from him. That's why I don't go in. Frito, it really depends. Frito portals, it really depends on the on the event because the chicken dance is isn't bad. Um, the dragon egg isn't bad. It's just gotta do it fast. Otherwise, you're losing time. And we're we're kind of lucky. There's no the the map's not dark. We don't have to change channels or anything. We can keep our combo counter going up, which is really good. Because the last episode we kept we kept having to change channels because of the dark map and the E boss we kept spawning in. It's it pretty annoying, especially when I don't want to take the time to kill him. I'm pretty sure I can probably kill him, but I don't want to do it. It's it's not enough for me to it's not enough experience for me to warrant to kill like to kill. Oh I actually got hit. <laughs> I actually took damage. <laughs> this entire time I've just been it, everyone's just been missing. Oh I took damage again. But like <laughs> it's so rare that I take damage. Usually dodge everything.
Yeah, we have... Wow, we have 80% crit damage. That's insane. No wonder I do so much damage. Okay, we're approaching the 2,000 combo orbs. The yellow combo orbs are gonna come. I'm, I'm, I think it's probably gonna give me like 3.7 mil experience. Ooh, bounty portal hunt. Uh, the portal. 3.9, that's good. Okay, Apollo portal. A Apollo portal. <laughs> oh, it's Stormwing. Oh, <laughs> plus six seconds. Yeah, I don't know a consistent path to to kill all these enemies fast enough. I guess I'll use this to try and help. And this to help. Oh, that's good. That's a good skill. Oh, that's good too. <laughs> We're already at 67%. Seventy-two percent. What? Where were we at? Were we at like twenty-something percent, twenty-five percent when we went in? <laughs> Fifty percent from that. I think that might have, might have been one of the quickest levels in this area. Or this might be the quickest level in this area. Like, I know uh, Stormwing is the, s the best experience game if you, if you can efficiently defeat all of the, 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 the mobs in there uh, at, at fast pace. And then after that, it would be the waves uh, at the castle. And then it would be the ones where there's waves on both sides or um, help protect Apollo. I think that one's the, the, the th number three. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Because like this, the EXP does scale to your level, so it's good. It's really good. Okay, we have one more minute left on our 2x, and then we have to use another one. All the butterflies just destroyed it, just destroyed everything. Oh, one more percent, and then we will be at level one eighty nine. And we're only halfway into the episode, guys. 
This is the 30 minute mark. Which is, uh, that's pretty fast. Okay, our X, 2x is running out. And let's use another one. Oh, it seems like rune. A rune is gonna spawn really soon, too. There it is, there's the rune. Oh, another rune of destruction. Nice. Oh, that's 30% now. That's okay. Oh. <laughs> Our monster park potions are going to expire too. Yeah, like another reason why I don't go into the uh, the infernal wolf is because it takes thirty seconds. Thirty seconds that I could be getting more experience rather than smacking a wolf. I'd rather not smack the wolf <laughs> with a fan. <laughs> Especially when I have a rune, I have 2x coupon on, I have 30% burning, I have um, Mercedes link skill, I've got tier 1 uh, 0 legion card that gives me like just a tiny bit of experience. <laughs> um, I have Evan link skill which increases the duration of runes and stuff like that. Uh, and then I've also got Aran, which makes combo orbs like, like almost like 400% better, 400% more experience. So it really doesn't do anything in, it doesn't benefit me if I go inside the Infernal Wolf portal. Uh, spawn. <laughs> There's no nothing to kill. Okay, one minute left on the monster park potions. Yeah, at this point, monster park also doesn't give me much experience. Only gives me the coins to buy more potions, which I think I'm good on. I don't think I need any more. All I need right now is a Polo Portal. That's all we need. Constant Polo Portals. And things to kill. <laughs> that would be really nice. Yeah, almost 4 mil. We only get 62k from these guys now. And then you add all of the, the multipliers, EXP multipliers. So the base rate is 62k.
Oh, use the field's hidden portal. This is free experience. Free 8 mil. Free 8.2 mil. Just for going in the hidden portal. That's like two combo orbs. Again. E mobs, pretty good experience as well. If you can kill them really quick, too. Come on. Spawn. Killing them too fast. Oh. It's this one. <laughs> I said this in the last episode. I still want toggleable buffs. just gonna be so much more convenient quality of life change I don't actually know the timer for um, the bounty hunter portals to actually spawn in. Sometimes it feels like it spawns in very often. Sometimes it feels like it doesn't spawn in at all. Like I don't know if there's like a, a timer for it or if it's just random. Or if it's gonna al just alternate between Infernal Wolf or like there's a chance to randomize between Infernal Wolf, Hollow Frito portals. Okay, we're approaching almost 90%, which means we <laughs> we completed our our goal within almost 40 minutes of today's episode. That's 10 minutes less than our usual episode, almost 20. As the last episode was around like 57 or so minutes, 51 minutes, I don't know. I forget. It only gets harder from here. It only... yeah. You're gonna need more and more experience. Every level. So it's only gonna get longer. Unless, of course, we get constant Apollo portals. Oh! Oh! Bounty Hunter. Let's see. Frito, we'll go in. You know what? We'll go in. Oh! This! Test my aim. Let's see if Call of Duty actually did it. No, it didn't help me with my aim.
I mean, got all of them. But I missed one shot. How much is it gonna give me? 47 mil experience. That took me from. That actually gave me the level up, too. And a cube. Sweet. Okay, that, that one might actually be the best for Frito portal. I, I don't know. Maybe it just scales all of the all of them to my my current level. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ten more minutes or nine more minutes. See how far we can get. If we get to, to 191, then we end our episode at 191. And then hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Probably gonna go play League of Legends or Call of Duty. <laughs> If you guys want to see that content, leave it in the comments below, okay? I might- I might do- I might record it. I- I do definitely have in the, the NVIDIA highlights, so... The highlights of when I'm playing get recorded, but not the entire match. Or not the entire game. So if you guys do want to see that, then yeah, you guys- you guys can definitely let me know. League of Legends is easier to record, um, I guess, because I have played. I, I do have, um, you know, previous experience from playing in any servers. It's just that everything's in Korean, <laughs> and people are from Korea that play. Uh. I also don't know if people at like the the PC bangs. I think they they get like benefits as well playing at the PC bang. I obviously don't play at the PC bang, so I don't get those benefits. Um, but I'm actually surprised that my my Korean internet that's free that I don't have to pay every month. Uh, I get uh 13 millisecond ping. Which is really good. Well, good enough to not get slaughtered. Because <laughs> before, um, playing in NA, I think I was getting like maybe 20s, 20 pings, 20 millisecond ping. I mean, which wasn't too bad, but obviously the, the lower, the better. So I'm happy. Same thing. Same thing in COD. I actually don't get that uh, high ping. There's actually servers in uh, Asia. I don't know where the servers would be, but there's definitely servers somewhere. Okay, we have one minute left. Should we just use another? Yeah, we're gonna use another two x coupon. And then ride it all the way out. Sounds like a good plan. Tell you guys a bit of a fun story if you guys if you guys made it 45 minutes into this video. Um, I do know a lot of people just put uh, my video on like in the background and just listen to my terrible voice, which is fine. But uh, here's a, here's a fun little story. So in the uh, past couple videos, I hope this is this is future recording me. This is me uh, recording for, for, for into the future. 
uh, but things actually haven't happened yet uh, for you guys. But as of recording this episode, my second car vlog has already been uploaded for like a solid week or so. Um, and then like, so after my video went up, my friend actually from Canada, Marcus, who, uh, you know, I'm, pro I'm helping him with this Spotify thing. I'm promoting his Spotify. He's graciously let me use his, 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 uh, his music, which is so nice of him. He sent me a photo, he, he watched my video and he's like, bro, no way. And he, and he, he, got, he sent me a picture and within the picture, a nail was on his tire. <laughs> So he stepped on the nail too. We both stepped on a nail. In our new cars, we both own Hyundai's. He owns um, a, an SUV Hyundai. I think it's like a it starts with a P. I don't, remember, I don't remember SUV names that well. I don't really pay much attention to it. But regardless, we're still Hyundai Bros. And uh, <laughs> it's just it's just coincidence how we both stepped on a nail, like. All of a sudden, at like roughly in this within the same time frame, I was like, "No way!" And then, oh, just hard to believe, because like Canadian roads are well it depends on where you're driving. Obviously, first of all, like if you're driving in the in downtown Toronto, uh, usually there's a lot of construction going on. So yeah, I can understand stepping on a nail. Um, but he doesn't live downtown Toronto. I think he lives near like near the west side of Ontario and I live more on the east side of Ontario. So I don't think there's that much construction going on because Canadian roads are pretty wide compared to Korean roads. Like here there's no shoulder. If you need to stop your car you're basically stopping in the middle of the lane. Well, in, in your lane, obviously, but like, there's no shoulder. So, yeah, it's it's kind of, kind of weird at the same time. Because a lot of construction go that goes on in Canada, they don't need to close off the road. Or like, they don't need to like, block off one lane. They usually just section off, um... You know the shoulder of the road and they can do their construction thing unless it's like actual like road repair or like some sort of maintenance thing going on that they need to do then they might stop it or, or like stop one just a short part of the road but usually a lot of canadian roads are two lanes so like it really doesn't matter but here in korea it's a different story you're driving on the wrong way you're gonna drive on that opposite direction <laughs> on the road of the road <laughs> to get past which is scary at times and from what I've noticed uh, there are a lot of vehicles uh, on the road that can't do speed limit for example military vehicles they the maximum speed they can do is 40 kilometers per hour the speed limit is 60 so that means you're good and because it's a one lane road it someone's gonna you know if someone's in a hurry that means they have to pass which is totally uh, acceptable it's just that you're gonna have to use the oh Paul you're gonna have to use the, the opposite direction to pass which is sometimes freaky sometimes scary holy oh I'm gonna get my level up am I I hope I do. Yeah, these guys have like 10 times more experience. Come on, 87, 93. That's not bad. Oh, I may have forgot to uh, 
Use my 2x. <laughs> well, I guess we're ending episode at 191. <laughs> That's... That's me being forgetful. I blame story time. Story time got me carried away. <laughs> Whatever. We made it to 191. That means we only have 9 more levels next in the next episode. I might just do a, a time lapse of it, so you guys don't have to sit through 50 minutes. <laughs> of of uh, this stuff, this all over again. Ugh. That was fun. We have a lot of hyperstat points to use. Let's use on here. Let's get more damage. And then let's do IED. Sixty percent IED, that's pretty good. Boss damage, we're gonna need that for uh Magnus when we go and defeat him. We also have this skill now. Oh, what does this skill do? Transforms one of your clones into a clone of your master, who then proceeds to nag your enemy's ears off. Okay, stuns targets. The stun's duration increases when there are fewer enemies in range. Uh, cost, 15% of maximum HP. Clone charges with, to the enemy with the highest max HP within the range. Maximum enemies hit, 8. Damage, 800%. Number of attacks, 8. Stun duration, 5%, 5 seconds. If only a few enemies are hit, the duration increases up to 11 seconds. Stun duration can increase up to 100% based on the damage inflicted with the attack. Cooldown is 200 seconds. Cool. Let's uh, put that uh, at V. Or very good. Let's try it out. Oh! Oh! Oh ho! Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I want to do. Do I use hasty ghost often or hasty vortex? Yeah. Okay, ghost. That would mean, that would mean like uh, when the skill is flying around, they attack more often. And then at level two hundred, I should get. Oh, I don't. That's my last one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I was gonna get this as well, but I don't really use that often, so that's fine. Butterfly Rush. It does more damage to boss. Uh, I don't use the skill. This is a sucking up. No, this is the the turn into like bugs and stuff skill. I don't use that. The Gord. I don't suck up people or uh, mobs. This not not too big of a difference. Ten only ten percent to all those skills doesn't really make that big of a difference. So went for IED. Boss damage, IED, attack interval, boss damage. I think that's that's how you do the passive passive skills. Anyway, if you guys made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys want to show your support? Make sure you show it, however way you fancy. You know, via comments, via likes, via sharing, whatever you want to do. And I will see you in the next episode.